Hello everyone, Aaron's with the Cardis here for another review, and this is another a review that I think a lot of you uh, really want this guy actually, but uh, it is Fabulous Lightning McQueen, but it's the Precision Series version, and it is uh, amazing, and this guy has been really anticipated for a long time, I don't know how long, um, for me to have. And this guy is incredible. He looks so realistic to the movie. Like, the model is so realistic to the Cars 1, Cars 2, and Cars 3 version. At least the model, you know. Paint, not so much. Well, the Cars 3, yeah. But, um, let's just go ahead and take a look at the box, shall we? Um, which is right here, the package. I did have to take it out because the screwdriver was stuck, so I had to get a drill and drill it out. But luckily, no damages was done to the car. Package a little... A little bit the base is a little dented. But uh, here is the package. Fabulous Lightning Queen. Cross precision on the top, which is the same as always. On the back, there is actually no uh, picture of McQueen, which is weird. And uh, that came like that. The package was really damaged when I got it. But it says Fabulous Lightning McQueen and all kind of other little stuff right there. If you want to pause it, you can. I do want to say it is pretty cool how the color is racing blue. It's really uh, different and interesting. But yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look at the McQueen right here. And it really does look amazing. So first off, as you can see, it says Fabulous McQueen on the side right here. Let me get the focus. Right there. 95 right there and Rusty's 95 on the roof and like McQueen Rusty's on the hood and sadly one of the headlights is crooked but I do love the expression it looks a lot better than this expression by the way that little black part I painted so it's not that big but it, I like this expression it looks really nice uh here's a side I love how the lightning bolt is right at the edge like it should be and I like how natural, like, it's supposed to look, how it's supposed to look in the movie. It looks like this. And, uh, let's see the back. I love the back because, um, it really reminds me of the original McQueen, how, like, okay, let me show you this McQueen. See how it's, like, flat, you know, perfectly flat? On the Cars 1 McQueen, it wasn't flat, like, this part stuck out, those... Things that hold a spoiler stuck out. Like, um, even the, uh, oh, what is it called? Your, uh, what is it called? Um, your blinker, yeah. Uh, ironically, this blinker is actually part of the mold. Like, it actually sticks out a little bit. It's hard to tell on the camera, but the blinker actually sticks out, which is really cool. And this McQueen is really detailed, and it looks a lot better than the other previously positioned McQueen. Now, the tears, the tears, the tires aren't actually, uh, like, detailed, but they are rubber, which I'm okay with for this McQueen, because the last McQueen, last time, um, they were rubber, it didn't really roll that great, because it kept getting stuck on the fenders. So I'm okay with the decision that it's not detailed, because sometimes it actually isn't detailed. And here is the engine. It's hard to get it up on this McQueen. But I'm okay with it because I'm not going to get open. Hold on. This is really hard to get open. Okay, there we go. There's the engine right there. It's actually very similar to the other engine. It's just a little bit, little bit smaller. The only difference is that the edges aren't black. You see, like, how it's like on the edges it's not but I don't care that much because it is smaller and it, it kind of blends in with the blue so it doesn't matter that much to me but the engines do look directly the same the only difference is that it's a smaller and it's pretty cool how uh, different they are and uh, this McQueen you can see a big difference a really big difference to uh, the precision series but you do see what I mean how this version stuck out like you can feel depth right there. But yeah, back to this McQueen. Uh, here are the wheels. You can see how nice they look right there. Uh, that's really it for the McQueen, except for comparing it to this McQueen. 
Uh, you can see the difference. The headlights look to be exactly the same, maybe a little bit smaller, but... Yeah, there's the Rusties. They look very similar. The expression's also a little bit similar, but it's better than this one. It works better. Uh, the lightning bolt's placed in the right position. And, uh, the Fathom Flame McQueen, they look very similar. 95 looks a little bit different. Maybe it, it looks bigger. Now, this is, like, probably the most different part. You can kind of see right there. You can see how, like, these, like, silver parts, I don't know what they're called, but they kind of, like, I believe they connect the spoiler to the main body. And you can see how, like, detailed they look, and the rusties on the back spoiler looks accurate. And the 95 to 4 dot cuts and looks nice. And I like the blinker. And, uh, I think that's it. There's the bottom, which is nothing really much. And there is a few little dents in the plastic, but that's because I had to get a drill to get that out. Um, but it doesn't bother me because it's barely noticeable, and you can't really see it from the top like this. And, yeah, that's really it for the Precision Series and Queen. Uh, the model is definitely different. They may look very similar, but it is supposed to represent this model. But it does look a lot better. A lot better version of this model. At first, when I saw this model, I wasn't too happy. This makes me happy, because I like this model. And I hope they recorrect the Cars 1 version with this model to make it look more accurate. And here's the Cars 3. You can see how big the smile is on this version. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and this is the keychain. I forgot about that. Here it is, 95 Fabulous with McQueen, which looks amazing on this. And there's the picture from McQueen. And it looks like a prototype image, actually. Which I'm pretty sure there wasn't a lot of images at the time. Get the focus. It's hard to get this to focus. Focus. Okay, that's the best I can get to focus, so let's pause and read that. And yeah, that's really it for this fabulous Lightning McQueen Precision Series car right here. Really do like this guy. He's really one of the best Precision... One, one of the best. I can't say the best, because there's a lot of better ones, but this is really cool. And uh, I should probably mention where I got this. Um... He was released for Kmart, um, and then he appeared on eBay for a really, really high price. But then, people have been founding it at Marshalls, which is where I found mine. And yeah, that's really it. I found him at Marshalls, and I'm happy I did. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.